All right, guys, we are here. It is nighttime. We're gonna make cold brew tonight with um, the cold brew that we made before from Shepherd's Crook. It is the cold brew blend. And we're also gonna make something that I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. And that is overnight oats in the morning because tomorrow's really busy. We'll have breakfast and cold brew ready at the same time and I'm super excited about this because it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started. We are going to start with some old fashioned oats and we're gonna do a half a cup of that. We're gonna add just a little pinch of salt and then half a cup of blueberries but I also am a rebel and I don't like following recipes so I'm just gonna like dump a lot of blueberries in there. That looks great. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of chia seeds. Organic chia seeds. I'm just gonna kind of like pour that in there. And I have some coconut milk. So we're just gonna do a half cup of coconut milk. And then it says one teaspoon of maple syrup, but I'm gonna use honey some local honey because I'm all about that. So I'm just gonna pour in, this is a tablespoon, so I'm just gonna kind of measure out like what a teaspoon would be like. And I'm gonna use that as my sweetener. And then I'm just gonna mix all of this together really, really good. And by the way guys, this is my first time making this, so please don't judge me. But we are really gonna see how this turns out in the morning. So hopefully it's gonna be delicious. It looks really good. I just kinda wanna eat some right now because it looks so good. But we'll wait. We will wait till morning to taste it together. We'll do it together. Okay, so I just have a mason jar here. I'm gonna try to do this very carefully. I'm gonna, definitely gonna smell I'm just gonna scoop this in. So, we put our overnight oats in a jar. So we're gonna put the lid on it, set it aside, and now we're about to make up our cold brew. 42 grams of the cold brew beans ground up in the coffee maker. And we'll put the gasket in and our filter and our top. And don't forget to soak your stopper in hot water. That'll help it seal for the whole night long. Let's go ahead and fill this up with water. Okay, that's good. You can see it. It is right where it's supposed to be. So we'll put our stopper on and we'll pump it probably about, I don't know, 11 times. Let's try that. Okay, that's good. So, I'm gonna let it sit there. Peace guys, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So, last night we made some more of that cold brew from Shepherd's Crook, and it's the cold brew blend, um, and we also made overnight oats, because remember, we had a busy day today, so we needed coffee and breakfast right off the bat so let's try these first we'll open the cold brew stay nice and sealed all night long okay now let's try these It's really good. Super healthy. Overnight oats and cold brew. This cold brew, I'm telling you what, it is so good. So refreshing. Very like light and a perfect morning drink. It's like kind of sweet. 
you really don't need any sugar or creamer, like nothing, which is way healthier too. And I don't know, it just tastes really refreshing. All right, guys. Shepherd's cold brew, overnight oats in a mason jar for the win. Really, really good. You guys should try it. I'll post the recipe in the comments. Peace.